Come. Hey guys, you can have your your mic on. Uh, kind of do like audience reaction or not. Your free range chicken. Do what you want. Oh, hello. How are you? Hey. Good morning. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. Um, listen, I've got a bit of a jam here. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, just before I'm uh, launching into my my tragedy, how's how's your morning going? Good. Having some coffee. Kind of just getting started. Good call. Has it been yeah. uh, super super busy this morning? Mm. Not so much. We have a flight that just took off, so that took most of the people out of my hair, and I just get to have a little breather here. What's any, up play, with you? Any, any Karens on the on the last flight? That you know about? <laughs> no, no. Everyone seemed to be pretty well placed and and happy with their circumstances. Uh, it sounds like you're not though. What's happening? Oh uh, well, I got a little bit of a problem. I, I don't want to complain about that. I'm fascinated. You got the awesome movie poster about that back there. What, what is that poster? Oh, so that's something that my uh, my sister worked on. She, um, as I work here at the airport, she's actually a, a film producer, um, oh. independent documentaries. Independent documentaries? Mm -hmm. How does she get into that? Um, she's always been into journalism and then was curious about a, a certain idea and she developed it. Awesome. Just went, really went for it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. cool. You must be proud. Um. Yeah, I mean, but you know, sometimes it's a little embarrassing that people read that. Oh yeah, but I get it. It's you know, each one each one's on their own journey, right? That's right. Yep, yep. What about you? What brings you to the airport this morning? Where are you headed? Oh uh, well, I'm I'm supposed to be going to Chicago, and you're gonna think I'm a complete idiot. You might even think I'm negligent. Heck, you might even think my elevator doesn't go all the way to the top. <laughs> Oh, I'm so embarrassed about this. I forgot to uh, mention to my secretary that I'm going to Chicago first and then Las Vegas, and I didn't follow up with her. Uh, I, I'm embarrassed. I'm booked through the Vegas flight that leaves in an hour, uh, but I need to go to Chicago first. Um, would you be opposed to sharing me what you can do to fix it for me? Um, here, let's see. This isn't the first time this has happened, so let me have a quick look. Oh, so I'm not a special idiot. <laughs> it happens from time to time. Um, so you need to go to Chicago and then Vegas, but she has you going to Vegas and then Chicago? Yeah, that's that's the that's the mix up. Okay. So and I see you're in first class and you have the uh, the extra extra legroom seats. And Patricia, I, I will ask, I will suggest if you can get me changed to uh, Chicago, I'll ride in the wheel well if I have to. <laughs> I don't care. I just need to get a change. Really don't. So I see that um, that there's a flight that leaves in about three hours, okay. and it goes to um, Chicago. And then uh, let me see about the connection. Hey, can, can I give you my Vegas ticket and you can go party in Vegas while I go to Chicago? I wish, I wish, but you know, somebody has to make the money while other people make movies. Oh, so uh, oh, there's something there. Oh, can we talk about that for a minute? I'm interested. Uh, no, thank you. I, I, I say, I save those for my therapy sessions. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, Understood. So don't want, um, to be too, don't want to be too intrusive, but I always get curious on, uh, on those kind of dynamics. So, all right, so there's a flight to Chicago in like three hours and then it goes to, uh, you have a connection to Vegas. That's the next day when you would need to go to Vegas? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. so yeah, so it looks like I could, I could organize that for you, um, but we don't have any first class. I see your ticket was $5,500. Yeah, no, I don't really care. I just need to get there, you know, uh, you can strap me to the underplane of the belly, I mean, It'll be cold, but I'll, I'll bundle up. <laughs> so uh, we could probably do like regular coach fare. Okay. Um, and then there's a change fee that's about, it looks like it's about $3,600 for all the ah, changes. Going and, from first and, class to coach? There's well, yeah, because your tickets change and your tickets changed in two locations for mm. two different destinations. So it's going to be $3,600. Do you have a credit card? You want to handle that? Uh, you have points? How would you like to cover that? I'm going to have to sell some stock first. Um, 
Uh, see about a loan for my banker. Goodness, thirty six hundred. Well, it doesn't seem like you are financially strapped. Your initial ticket no, was fifty five hundred. Yeah, I know. I mean, was... these are business trips, right? So you have business expenses and you cover. Yeah, all that. I know. I still, I hate to, I hate to spend that much. Oh my goodness. Um, can I go somewhere else first? Uh, a little cheaper first, and then. Uh, Go through to Vegas. Is there any other options there? Well, I mean, how would you get to your, your meeting in Chicago if you go someplace else? Well, I'm just curious if there are any options at all. Um, I mean, we're an airline. We have multiple flights every day. Um, let Just let me know what your needs are. Yeah. No, I just uh, a little shocked by 3600 to go to from first class to coach. Uh, well, yeah, it's not really about the ticket. It's more like the, the changes and the fees and... I'm doing the best I can, you know, I just, I'm just an employee here and, and my job is really important to me. The best you can? Yeah, I mean, I really can't, um, you know, take any risks uh, giving people free stuff. I really need my job. Well, I really uh, think you do an important job here and I definitely respect that. I don't want to uh, put you in any jeopardy for sure. So I really uh, respect your uh, your boundary there. I really, really appreciate that. I was kind of hoping we have some leeway there. Um, I mean, the best I can do is use your points. We don't generally do that. They like to not apply points to these types of last minute changes. Oh. Yeah, there's typically like a 24 hour period. If you make a change within 24 hours of flight time, then you can use your, t your, your points. But if it's like same day, you know, like like this kind of a last minute thing they try and keep those um as cash not cash but cash credit transactions right right uh, but in this case i'd be willing to to take your points if you wanted to do that oh yeah that please let's do that and if i use points can i uh uh stay with first class or do i need to downgrade for that yeah i think the only thing available here would be the coach and that's at the okay. 3600 oh that's fine uh like i said strap me to the tail of the airplane uh i can uh, get a kite and uh, fly, <laughs> fly behind there, play whatever it takes. Okay, you got it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, is this time? Hey, um, yeah, let's, let's talk. What were you feeling, Doug? You, you felt any feels? I know you're a robot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it still wasn't connecting with this one for some reason. This one's <sighs> yeah, but you know what? I'll tell you my existence. Trisha's tough. Uh, she doesn't, doesn't give away the cookie. I'll tell you that. No. You got to work at it. So good job, Patricia. You you think you split the difference? I I think you know I hey I, I still think it's better than paying the five grand new ticket. I, I, I tell you that. that. I mean, I was thrilled. I honestly was thrilled when she said, "Oh, and you can use points." And I'm like, "Bingo, I'm done." Yeah, you, yeah. you, you probably this five minutes. You probably made two grand. So yeah. uh, I'll I'll sell you two grand right now. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Yeah. So <sighs> who's uh? Who's got some feedback? Say everybody I saw, I was blasting the chat. Hey, you guys can do the same. If you notice anything, put the notes public. Uh, I put on here, what I say? Going for the ask kind of quickly won't go very well. Did you agree with that, Patricia? You think he went for the ask kind of quick? Yeah, I felt like, um, but that's the thing, I guess I feel uncomfortable too, because you're obviously there for oh, a yeah, reason. Oh yeah, right? So yeah, that's the... <laughs> Yeah, that's the butterfly. So you're, obviously, yeah. you're before this person for a reason and you can only dilly dally for a little bit. And I felt like he he did that. Um, but I tried to be as real as possible. Mm. And I think that's just my fear is like anytime I'm in front of somebody and I'm trying to prolong that interaction, they're just going to be like, how can I help you? What do you need? You know, hey, the best, so response, be best response to that is it seems like you're under a lot of pressure mm -hmm. when you're in doubt, label it out. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing on the behavioral change stair, we had active listening. You start off well with the listening and they have some empathy. Like I liked what you said about just strap me to the plane. Cause yeah. I know in a different scenario, uh, I mean a different person, when Patricia told them I'll get you coach, the person was like, ew coach. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that didn't go well, did it? <laughs> Didn't. No, and my main thing I want to do is show I, uh, a bit of humility here because yes. you can be a real jerk. If you're yeah. flying first class, you need to show some humility. Bingo. Uh, for, for as far as I'm concerned on that. Well, you do that really well. I felt that you are um, 
genuine. I felt that you were just a kind person and businessman, you know, just wanted to get his, his deal done. Uh, but I, did, I, at that same, to that same point, I just felt like, well, this guy is a businessman. Let him pay his own way, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So yeah, that's the quite, empathy. That's didn't the report, right? Yeah. No. Didn't quite get there. It was good, man. Uh, kudos, dude. Awesome. Kudos. Yeah, thank you. thank you. That was my any, first time doing that scenario. You. Good. Any feedback right. for any for anybody? No? What the heck's going on today? <laughs> uh, I have, I, so, if, if I'd like to understand the, the, the price, the, the possibilities of the prices, because I have not understand it. Uh, what are the possibilities yeah so obviously the possibility if um you come off like a jerk patricia could tell you man just go on the computer and put in your credit card patricia didn't tell that to doug because he came in nice and so the other possibility then is he gets a, a discount half instead of five grand he ended up with 2500 so he's you know he saved 2500 dollars in like 5 minutes that's impressive and then the ultimate win is if patricia's like you know what I'll, i'm just going to take care of this i got you i'll hook you up that's like the pinnacle of it right that's not easy yeah. uh, anybody here want to do the airline since we know the context and the situation or do you anybody want something easier? We haven't seen Jonathan. Uh, I'm so eager to throw him under the bus in the water. I'll, I'll do the airline. Can I be the, the businesswoman? Well, let's let Jonathan pick if he wants to oh, do okay. coffee shop, which is easier, airline, medium, pawn shop, extreme. Um. Let's just do it. I'll be, I'll be the, I'm going to be the airline. What do you, no, you're going to be because the negotiator? Because this exercise is going to be very, no, the, the Attendant? Agent. Oh, come on. You know, uh, yeah. the best learning happens when you fail. You know what? And I'll tell you what, I'll stop 